Today I will show you how you can get the best FPS on Call of Duty Warzone for low end PC on Windows 11. But before, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and like. First open the game, go down here to the options. Go to General. On the field of view, select 60. Brightness, select 50. Horizontal heads up display, select 100. Vertical heads up display, select 100. Skip introduction movie, select enabled. Tooltips, select disabled. Then go up here to graphics. On the display mode, select full screen. Screen refresh rate, select the max hertz you have on your monitor. Render resolution, select 66. Aspect ratio, select 16 by 9. Vertical sync, select disabled. Custom frame rate limit, select unlimited. NVIDIA highlights. Select Disabled NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency Select Enabled Plus Boost Display Gamma Select 2.2 sRGB Streaming Quality Select Low Texture Resolution Select Very Low Texture Filter Anisotropic Select Low Particle Quality Select Low Bullet Impacts and Sprays Select Disabled Tessellation Select Disabled on demand texture streaming, select disabled. Shadow map resolution, select low. Cache spots shadows, select disabled. Cache sun shadows, select disabled. Particle lighting, select low. Ambient occlusion, select disabled. Screen space reflection, select disabled. Filmic strength, select one. Anti-aliasing, select off. Depth of Field, select Disabled World Motion Blur, select Disabled Weapon Motion Blur, select Disabled Film Grain, select Zero Dynamic Resolution, select Disabled And Dynamic Resolution Frame Rate Target, select 60 Then press here on Apply Settings, press on Back Press on Quit to Desktop Press Yes now press on the start menu, go to settings, then go to gaming, press on game mode, on the game mode make sure you have this on, then press here on graphics, press on change default graphics settings, make sure you have this on, then go back to graphics, press here on browse, search where you have your battle.net folder, Double click on it. Go to Call of Duty. And this is the right file you need to find. First right click on it. Press on Properties. Here you have to go to Compatibility. Check Disable Full Screen Optimization. Then go here to Change High DPI Settings. Check this box. Press OK. Press Apply. OK. Then select it. Press here on Add. You will find it here. Press on Options. Check High Performance, press on Save, and close the page. Do you need to go to the Start menu, then go to Settings. Go to Windows Update, press on Check for Updates, and follow the steps to be up to date. Then go to System, go to Display, on the Night Light, select Off, then go to Advanced Display, choose a Refresh Rate. Select the highest hertz you have on your monitor. Then go back to system. Go to the notifications. On the notifications, select off. Go back to system. Go to focus assist. Select here off. And down here on during these times, select off. Then go back to system. Go to power. Here on the power mode, you have to select best performance. Go back to system. Go to storage. On the storage sense, select off. Then go to cleanup recommendations. Select this two if you want to delete them. Press on cleanup. And press on continue. Then go back to system. Go to multitasking. On the span windows, select off. And on the title bar window shake, select off. Go back to system. Go to Remote Desktop. On the Remote Desktop, select this to off. Go back to System. Go to Clipboard. 
on the clipboard history, select this to off. Then go here to the personalization. Go to background. Here select picture or solid color, do not select slideshow. Then go to apps. Go to apps and features. Here you have uninstall all the apps you no longer need, by pressing on this three dots, and uninstall. Then go to gaming. Go to Xbox Game Bar. On the Xbox Game Bar you have to select this to off. Go back to gaming. Go to captures. Record what happened, select off. Capture audio, select off. And capture mouse, select off. Go back to gaming. Go to game mode. On the game mode you have to select this to on. Then go to privacy and security. Go to general. Here you have to select all this to off. Then go back. Go to speech. Select this to off. Go back. Go to inking and typing personalization. Select this to off. Go back. Go to diagnostic and feedback. Select this to on. Then go back. Go to activity history. Uncheck this box. Go back. Go to searching windows. Here select this to off. Select classic. And we are done with the settings. Now go down here to the search bar. Type task. Press on task manager. Here you have to go to startup. Now here you have to disable all the application you don't want to run in the background when your computer starts. Then close the page. Go again to the search bar. Type optimize. Press on the fragment and optimize drives. Select your C drive. And press on optimize. Then go to the other drives you have. First press on analyze. And then optimize. Go again to the search bar. Type run. Press on run. Type here temp, press OK, press continue, select all these files and delete them, then go here again, type percent temp percent, press OK, select everything from here and delete them, go again here, type refetch, press OK, press continue, the same select everything from here and delete them. Go again to the search bar, type performance. Press on adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. First check adjust for best performance to uncheck all this. Then check custom. And check smooth edges of screen fonts. And show thumbnails instead of icons. Then press apply. And OK. Now you have to be up to date with your video card driver. So if you have NVIDIA go to this website, and select here your specs from the video card. Then press on search. Press on download. And download again. Now if you have the AMD video card, go to this website, select here your video card you are using. Then just press on submit and follow the steps to be up to date. And that's all you had to do. I hope you found this useful. Don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next episode. Bye.